I really do feel at home in my school hallways, in my classroom, in, in the gym during lunchtime. I, I, the school is where I love to be, and it does give me that rush. Like I really, really enjoy um, teaching uh, mathematics. I think at its very core, um, my teaching style um, is very active. It's very energetic and engaged. Um, I like to get the kids moving around. I like to get them intersecting with each other and sharing and bouncing ideas off, off one another. But if I were to choose sort of one phrase that would describe um, everything I try to build uh, into my practice, uh, it would be decision making. Um, my goal as a teacher is to always throw students into that active place where they are the ones making those mathematical decisions. And so I, I'm trying to build the environments and opportunities for those decisions to become relevant. We have an incredible opportunity. We deal with so much possibility. Like we are intersecting with like potential at every given moment and, and no two students think exactly alike. And if you provide them the space to make those decisions, you can be surprised. I think if you dictate every decision that's made and students end up following more directions, uh, you get a very sort of constrained and tightly controlled teaching space. But one of the parts of the job that I love the absolute most is when students surprise me. When I think when that comes out of, way, out of left field, I don't have to pretend like that is new and novel thinking. It genuinely hits me kind of like off kilter. And, and now I have to adjust on the fly and really kind of listen and interrogate like what they're doing and what sense they've made. I think you really have to enjoy thinking sideways because in the profession, there's also a lot of tradition and a lot of status quo. And so oftentimes, relentlessly pursuing student understanding and the status quo of math education are, are diametrically opposed. Pursuing with students' interest, first and foremost, can be really hard work. It can be really heavy work emotionally and practically, um, but it's, it's important work. And so you have to have to love it. And so if you enjoy those moments uh, where you are innovating uh, and thinking sideways, I think uh, your students will benefit from that uh, in ways that, that you can't possibly imagine. Uh, and that work uh, will pay off in the end. I am most proud when I see my students making a mathematical breakthrough. When they have that moment when things fall into place, that those are the moments where um, they're not out loud proud moments, but they are uh, introspective proud moments uh, for me as I watch these uh, learners grow in mathematical sophistication.